Hey everyone, how's it going? I know it's been some time since I posted stuff on YouTube, but I have some really cool stuff to talk about when it comes to shipping. So I know we talk about shipping a lot on my channel, but I picked up on something new. I was actually able to pick up a package after the shipping tracking said that my package was gonna be sent back to the sender. Before I actually get into the details of that, let me quickly describe the shipping process just so I can keep everyone up to speed. Basically, whenever you win a prize, it's going to be put into a cart. Now, you're able to request for those items to be shipped out, and just keep in mind that every seven days you get free shipping. Once you put in that request to ship items, it takes maybe about a week to a month, depending on the size of your package, for the Tereba team to actually put your shipping information in and actually ship the item. Now, once they ship the item, it can take maybe about three days to a week. I haven't had it any longer than that for them to actually ship it. The cool thing is, is that they'll send you an email once that your package is shipped. And in that email, they're gonna have information about the prizes that you won, and you're gonna have that tracking information. So you'll be able to track your shipment throughout the entire time that it's going to get to you. Now, the cool thing about Tereba is that they actually require signatures in order for you to actually get your package, which could both be a convenience and an inconvenience. I really like the customer service but it could be a problem because, you know, why do you need to sign for a package that is just plushies? At the same time, I really like the fact that they really like to protect your stuff. These things are really expensive after all. Or you just spend a lot of money on the game. <sighs> But here's the thing, if you miss your package, you're most likely gonna be getting some kind of packing slip and then you'll have to go pick it up at the post office. Now the cool thing is, is that it's actually gonna show it in your tracking information and it's gonna be indicated by this word that says retention. Now, if you see that after your packing information says out for delivery and it says retention, that means that they had an attempted delivery but they weren't able to get you so they're gonna keep it at their post office. Now, that's not a big deal, you just have to bring the package slip to the post office and you can pick up the item. But Every now and then, you'll get it, you'll be getting this other notification that says package is going to be sent back to, that basically says that the package is gonna be sent back to the deliverer. Now, this is something that has never happened to me. Normally, I'd be able to pick up my packages sometime on the weekend, but I wasn't able to do it this past weekend, so I got this, uh, this notification. And you know that's pretty bad, considering that all of these things are... <sighs> They're so expensive, man. Uh, you, 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 don't, you don't ever wanna see something like that. But here's my thinking. My local post office says that they're gonna be holding packages for up to 14 days. So I was actually surprised when I saw that that notification came after six days of the notification that it was actually gonna be retained. So I figured, what happens if I were to just go to the post office and try to pick it up? So I went to the post office, I asked them to see if they had it there, and to my surprise, they actually still had it. I actually asked the lady who was, who was helping me with my package and said, well, how long do you actually keep your package after they give you a notification that they're gonna be sending it back to the sender? And what she told me was is that that notification on the tracking is basically just a warning sign. Now, if you don't pick it up within the next week, at least with my local post office, they actually are going to send it back to the sender. And if you look at Tereba information online through like Reddit or something like that, people have actually have uh, been unable to pick up their packages. But there's no harm in trying as long as you're within a week time period. Now again, I don't know if that's true for every single post office. For my local post office, it's okay. But I was able to pick up that package. Now, just for proof, this is the package. <laughs> I was able to get it. So, um, you know, normally I actually uh, pre-open my boxes, but I'm just gonna open it right now just to show you that these are the, the things that I won. For the package that I missed out on, I was supposed to get a hippo, a dolphin, and like a Sumiko Garashi uh, like soap set, or soap set. So let's go ahead and see, because that's exactly what these things should be. And that's, that's exactly what they are. This is a Sumiko Garashi like bottle set. I actually thought it was supposed to be glass, but I guess it's a, I guess it's plastic. It's pretty cool though. I like it. And then I got this dolphin. It's a blue dolphin. It's pretty cool. It's really squishy. I got this blue dolphin. And I also got this really big hippo. Now this hippo is pretty cool too. It's really nice. It, it, it actually is very similar to the reno that I got. So anyway, these are the things that I got. I'm so glad that it, they weren't sent back to Japan. <laughs> so um, I hope this video helps. Basically at the end of the day, all I'm saying is just go to the post office even though your tracking says that it got sent back to Japan. Just give it a shot. Hopefully you can recover your package. I'm glad that it works for me and hopefully you all get the same success uh, if you get that notification on your tracking as well. I'll see you all around and uh, hope this video helped out. <laughs>